in the U.S. I mean, compared to the life over there, I got a chance to even go back to Vietnam, and it was fun over there. But I think that that that, that environment, that life, that even the political aspect, it just is not as what you have here. You get you get choices, you get freedom over here. My name is Phong Deng. I'm from Vietnam and I migrated here in 93. What were some of your interests or uh, hobbies or maybe occupation in the country you came from? So right now, uh, when I was in the country I came from, I was very young, uh, probably around seven, eight years young. So I wasn't doing anything back then. But now I am uh, currently uh, real, in real estate, buy and sell, and also managing management uh, apartments for my client. And also we're working on opening up a restaurant right now in uh, Tacoma. You came from your country at a young age? At a very young age, yeah. With your family? Yep. So um, my parents and my younger brother. What caused you to migrate to America? So at that time, I, I was so young, I, would, I don't know the reason why. Uh, but now, you know, got a chance to grow up and see the life, you know, environment, see how it is. And definitely I can see, and of course, you know, get a chance to talk to my mom more. I realize there's definitely the opportunity, uh, just a new life. Um, coming from a country that's, you know, very, seeing what I, we have here, and get to go back and see what's available there. It's just the lifestyle seems so. I don't know. It's, it's you don't you don't have everything. The opportunity is over here. Did you uh, so? Did you attend some school while you were in Vietnam? I was. I attend a little bit of like first, second grade. Yeah. yeah. And then started fourth grade over here. What was the journey like coming to the United States that you remember? We were in the Philippines for six months at a camp for six months. Before you, before you came, came to the U.S. Oh, so you went to Viet from Vietnam to the Philippines? Yes, so and it was a transition days. time. Okay. So I guess uh, that's the time where they teach us English and also it's the process of identifying a sponsor in the U.S. And so you had a, a sponsor from the United States yeah. and you stayed with that family? So they... They didn't, they actually um, had a place for us. They ran out of place for us when we came over here. So that was, I guess they got some kind of fun to take care of all this, but we were able to have a place of our own when we first came. In the, the what, 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 where in the States? So you Portland. Portland. Portland, Oregon. We were there probably for, I remember, about three to five months. And once we were able to you know, get things going, self-sufficient. Sufficient. My dad had some friends over here, and we decided to move over here. When we started school, there was a little, you know, dis disconnect a little bit, you know. It, but it was, I didn't take it back, because some of the, like, the vocabulary that, um, that I can't say well, I get a laugh out of that. But for me, it wasn't an insult, it's just something fun. Um, I tend to be more, Reserve, quiet. We live very modest, but it doesn't seem like we will have any real challenges. You know, we there, there was a community, um, so there was um, a town. There seemed to be a lot of people who got an opportunity to come over here. So when we were here, somehow they, we got to connect with each other, and then create kind of a community and keep in touch. And then every year they would have a gathering of you know, people in that town just get in touch with each other. So there was support. So the community here, there's a huge community of Vietnamese over here, even the church and stuff. So it was great to have that support. It's a blessing to be here. I, uh, I'm so glad my parents did what they did, you know, even though we're away from the country, but now that I'm here, um, in the U.S., I, I feel like it's just such an abundant abundance of resource um, opportunities doors open every day right and you have no excuses and it's great to give back and i think by giving back you get more you know and there's so much value that we can give 
and just feel good to do it, so why not? For me, I feel like I'm in a unique situation as well. You know, I get a chance to experience the refugee, the, the migration. Yeah. So I've seen that sacrifice, that hardship that we went through, you know, the, the lifestyle, the environment there. And get, now I get a chance to merge into American society and get to embrace all the skills, this knowledge, this different way of thinking, right? And that's one thing I really embrace on this. There's so much traditional thinking in Vietnam that it doesn't help as a person to move forward, to embrace on what's available. And now that there's this, like, get, get a chance to open up doors and see, you know, the successful people thinking. And it's all available to us, right? To mm -hmm. adopt this kind of thinking. Yeah. It's just now, now you have options. Options. In Vietnam, not so much. But now that's, that's why I believe is now we have options. Right? Yeah. And, and you can choose to. There's no, one's, there's no excuse anymore. There's, there's not really an excuse. Yeah. There's options.